December. A uh, quick review video from me today. So I've got the six piece rapid wood multi-tool blade set from Smart. So the six piece kit comes with two different sizes. We've got a wide cut blade and a thin cut blade. So I'll be testing both of these out. I'm gonna stick this one on first and have a little go with it. size blade got it in the multi-tool with extraction on it got these two slots here that I'm going to be cutting out just in some 18mm ply and see how well this blade puts up with it So in comparison, new blade, used blade, that's just from cutting two holes. So that's taken a lot of uh, paint damage, but still got really sharp teeth on there. And it was slicing up and down the fly so easily. So although it looks quite worn, this is still in good condition. So first test with the thin cut blade on the plywood, really successful. So it sliced through it and gave a nice quick cut. The next thing will be put under the test, the wider blade with some CLS Timber, we'll be cutting some domino strips in them to see how well this keeps up with pressure. So as you saw then on the video, I actually had a bit of trouble with the wide blade with uh, excessive vibration. It's almost like the blade is too, so thin that when it does vibrate in the multi-tool, it sort of fans out like an X-Wing fight from Star Wars. I had to turn the speed down all the way down to one just to get it to flatten out. So it could be not as accurate as a cut as you'd like to be. You can use it when it's waving about all over the place, but I wouldn't recommend it. Um, you wouldn't have that sort of problem with the thin cut blade. I did find the thin cut blade had a bit more control. So if I was going to be doing some neat work, I'd use the small blades, a bit more accurate. And the wide blade, I can save that for demolition or things that no one's going to see. Things you can be a bit messy on. So how did I get on with the testing? The 32mm blade. Uh, was a lot better, a lot efficient compared to the 63mm blade. This one was wobbling about, as you saw. So as for the two blades, both are for cutting wood and plastic, not for cutting through metal. So if you want to get a metal blade, you have to go get a different pack. But these ones for cutting through wood are phenomenal. You should also note that the blade does take quite a bit of damage. It's just from cutting a few slices of the CLS timber. Um, so when they're new, they look nice and pearl white. Once they're used, they're pretty knackered. But the teeth still strong. It's just that the paint finish has worn off a little bit, so don't let that put you off these blades. They are still top quality blades. And with it being a pack of six, once you get through one small blade, for instance, it's all burnt out and worn, you can't cut a butter with it. You've got two more ready and waiting for you to pick up and throw in your mowing tool. So thank you very much to Smart for sending me out these blades for me to test, along with the Smart TR30 mowing tool for me to test them in. Uh, very thankful for that. Um, if you are interested in looking at Smart and their accessories and what they can offer for your toolbox, definitely give them a check out. Their links and everything will be down below. Make sure you give them a follow and a like. And uh, look forward to more tool reviews in the future from me. See you all next time.